I'm heading out to the campground. There's a, a group of glampers out here uh, this weekend. And there's several of them. And they are celebrating Christmas and fall. Hey, if you're getting any uh, sort of value out of any of my videos, would you uh, hit the like button? I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. That really helps our channel grow. And uh, I sincerely appreciate it. But... Uh, this group has about three or four campers that I haven't seen yet. And uh, I'm going to go out and film them, give you guys a tour, take you through them. Because I think, uh, from what I understand, there's several that are very cool. So uh, let me get out there. Let me check out this Christmas in fall with the Green Country Vintage Glampers. 1969 gold star gold star look at that cool beehive type light right there very nice got a lot of very interesting stripes on it this was made in Colorado Colorado that vent that you see down there on the bottom left that is where they have added air conditioning you look at the shape and it makes you think of Cardinal but it's definitely not a cardinal. It's a gold star out of Colorado. Come around here, you can see the front and back window are basically the same. Kind of got the big round tail lights, but look up here, kind of following that theme along. I just really like those rounded lights on a vintage camper. We're definitely decorated for Christmas in fall around the front side here and get a good look just following the theme of when they keep the windows kind of the same size and shape I think that adds a lot to the camper let's go on inside and see what we've got we've got a front kitchen right here we can see the original Grand Prix Oop. Refrigerator ice box, I guess it is. We'll go up front here with the original stainless sink. And of course the original stove top. Let's get a better look down here at that ice box. You can see it's that avocado. They're almost hitting the 70s in 1969, so it looks great. Of course, sticking with the 69 theme, we got the original latches and poles. A lot of good storage. And of course, if you grew up like I did in the 60s, of course, you know what this paneling means. It means 60s and 70s for sure. Now, when you stop your front kitchen right here, you can have a closet right here. A lot of people use this for either a bathroom or a porta potty. So you can see there's a lot of space in there. That's probably about, I would say 48 inches long. It probably comes out 22 inches. So you could get a porta potty in there and still have quite a bit of space. Now, if you look here, you'll kind of see that there is a bench here and a bench here. Now right here, originally there would have been a long dinette table and then the bed back here. The uh, owner has decided to take that out and just have a static bed right back in here, just a nice size for, a, for one person. But if they so desired, they would move this table and this would come out to a full king. You would have a full king down here and then up here is a full twin. So really plenty of space in such a small space Let's head back out here and get a good look and at this 1969 Gold Star out of Colorado. Very, very cool.